Hey guys, welcome to another edition of What's Going On at Club Fred. This is my hot water tank. And today I want to talk to you about this mixing valve at the top. This is a thermostatically controlled mixing valve. It's supposed to mix the hot and the cold water together so that at the tap, in the rest of the house, you do not get scalding hot water. Now this guy, I've replaced two times. This is the second one that I've had in maybe five years. It has a knob at the back that you can turn to adjust it, but it's very fine threads. It's really uh, difficult. You have to unscrew with an Allen key, which I've taped here. You have to unscrew the Allen key because that's what locks it in place. And uh, so what I've done here, is I've just locked some vice grips onto it. And every day now, every day, I have to take this, swivel this around like this, swivel it back. And I generally do that while I have the hot water tap on upstairs at the kitchen. This is where the hot water is supposed to exit the hot water tank. And while I have the tap on, I can put my hand here and I can feel till I can't hold it any longer from cold to hot. And then I know that I've triggered the mechanism inside this valve to work properly. It's seizing up somehow. And it's a pain in my A double S. A hot water tank already has a temperature control at the bottom. It's very easy to adjust it. It's not hard. You can adjust it hotter and cooler. So why do people put these things on there? My provincial government has mandated that all new installs of hot water tanks have to have this mixing valve at the top. I wouldn't buy this brand. It sucks. I mean, for a valve that has no electrical parts, very few moving parts, you would think that it should have a longer life expectancy than five years, three years. What I want to determine is, am I going to replace this offending piece of nonsense or am I going to bypass it entirely? Look, safety is always a good idea. I'm not going to say that a device that gives us more safety and protects our children and our grandchildren isn't necessarily a good idea. But I will say this. Because there's already a temperature control at the bottom. Ah, regardless of that. If we are protected by Big Brother, our government, legislating safety in our lives, then there comes a point where we are lulled into a false sense of security. Look, I don't want to get political here, but I do want to say this. If our children or our grandchildren have never experienced that hot water can come out of a tap hot enough to be scalded, then one day they're going to get caught and they are going to get hurt because they won't know that it's possible. My parents didn't have this kind of safety and it's the proverbial hot burner on the stove. If a kid ever touched it, they would only do it once. It's only common sense that you check the temperature of the water as it's coming out of the tap while you're filling the bath or filling the sink. And anybody that didn't have such a valve like this would have simply done that as a matter of habit. So this is the kind of thing that is not necessary. It's a intervention into our lives. It is eliminating common sense out of our society. And it's an unnecessary expense that we do not need. So here is the mixing valve here. This is a Honeywell thermostatic mixing valve, $95 plus HST of 13%. Now, 
if you can't do this job yourself, you're going to have a $300 bill from a plumber by the time you're done. It's common that these things go bad in three to five years. This is a whole new industry that the government has created. You do not have to have this thing on your hot water tank. It's just the installer who has the license for the hot water tanks or has the plumbing license is mandated to put this thing on. So anyway, I digress. However, just know you do not have to have this on. You're not breaking the law to take it off. Okay, check in a little bit later and I'll tell you what I've done. Now, how a hot water tank generally works is cold water comes down one of these two pipes. In this case, it's this one. Cold. Cold water comes down into this tank, fills up this tank, and the water pressure from the water system pressurizes the tank. The tank heats the water, the hot water exits on the other side, hot, comes up and goes into your water supply piping in your house. If I do not replace this mixing valve and I remove it, the cold and the hot shouldn't be connected across anymore. So I would stub this off somehow, plug it up, swivel this pipe over a little bit, swivel this, and connect these. Simple enough. Connect this one with this one. Then it's hot out into this pipe and that's all well as you can see this is the completed repair I've removed the valve entirely I've done exactly what I said I was going to do stub off the cold I used a 90 and a coupler to the hot going into the system and that's all. Total cost, absolutely zero. I went to my local plumbing supply. They gave me this little piece of copper. It was a used piece of copper they pulled out of another job. And I needed this coupler, this 90, and this cap. And that's all, which they also just gave me. But if you had to buy it, You'd be into it for less than ten dollars works great i've learned a little bit more about the purpose of this valve in relationship to the water temperature in the tank it's a good idea to keep the water hot in the tank when people try to turn down the water temperature too low for safety reasons it's possible you could have bacteria in your tank. So I should tell you that. So it's not too good of an idea to lower the temperature too much. Um, and in doing so, you're still going to have the risk of hot water at your taps. But in this case, I've eliminated a valve that has to be replaced every three to five years at an expense of $300. So that choice is yours, yours to make. It's perfectly fine if you put that valve in and if you don't mind spending the money and having the frustration of it malfunctioning. So there you have it, my completed repair. I saved over $300 and eliminated a valve that likes to malfunction every three to five years. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay smart, be awesome.